Coach Henson, you just finished your second season, one of the best seasons in the school's history, and you have two of your leading scorers coming back who were freshmen last year. How are you going to build on that in the 2018 season, 2019 season? Well, we, we had a really good year, and those young guys stepped up and, and provided a much-needed jolt to our offense. You know, those guys could really put the ball in the hole. Uh, but we still feel like we're just getting started. We've got a long way to go. We've, like I said, we've got good young players. We've established a foundation. We've established a culture. And uh, we really feel like we're ready to take that next step now. What does the off-season preparation look like? Well, our guys will all get home for a few weeks here right, right after the, the spring session finished up. They'll get home and then we'll bring them back for summer school, uh, hit the weight room really, really hard. Uh, the new rule with the NCAA, we get to be on the court with them now for four hours a week for skill work uh, versus the two hours that we've had in the past. So it'll be a great opportunity to get stronger in the weight room, uh, to improve our skill level, a lot of shooting, a lot of ball handling, footwork and that. And then uh, we're going to take a foreign tour in August, which will be uh, so beneficial for, for all of our guys, but especially those young guys, the incoming players will get to be part of that. So uh, we'll benefit a lot from that. How big of a difference will that extra time on the court make? Well, that foreign tour will, will provide so much for our team. Uh, the 10 extra days of practice is huge. You know, in addition to the, to the skill work we'll have in the middle of the summer, we'll have 10 full practices. We'll spread, that, spread those out over two weeks and really, really uh, go hard for, for 10 days and then get down there and play. We'll only play three games, but that's just part of it. It's the, it's the practice time, the bonding, um, developing that camaraderie, the comfort level for the new guys. Uh, those foreign tours are, are always very, very beneficial. You're allowed to do them every four years, and, and we really need to take advantage of it. Do you have any incoming recruits, new freshmen coming in that you already know are going to make an immediate impact on the court? Well, we do. We, we've got, uh, got a young guy sitting out who, who sat out last year due to an injury. Adrian Rodriguez uh, tore his ACL in the first game of the season, so he'll be back as a redshirt freshman. And we know that he can provide a nice punch for us on the inside. Uh, we've got a couple guards, high school guards, that, that will each provide a little something different. We've got good guards in our program right now, but those guys will give us depth and energy and intangibles. Uh, and then we've got a junior college kid that will provide some, some toughness, some rebounding, and some scoring ability. So I think we'll have a nice mix of uh, returners some experienced guys and then some real, real good, uh, uh, fresh, new, young guys. You've got some big non-conference games back here. How are you going to work on that? Yeah, we're not quite uh, finished with the schedule yet, but a couple of the, the headliners at, at home will be, we'll play Texas State again at home this year. That's always a big game. Uh, the fans enjoy that one. And then uh, Oklahoma's coming here and, uh, you know, the terrific team, terrific, terrific program. And, and uh, it'll be fun to, to get a, a high major program in here, a Big 12 opponent that uh, will be very, very tough, but it'll be exciting. It'll be good for the fans to get those guys, to get the Sooners in the convo. With your experience at Oklahoma, what is that like playing against them? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the pregame is a little different. You know, I've known some of those guys my entire life. You know, Coach Kruger uh, played for him. Uh, his staff, we're very close to those guys. I still have quite a few of the same players that were there when we were coaching there. So uh, the pregame, the warm-ups, all that's a little bit different, a little bit unique. Once the game starts, you kind of lock in on what you're always doing. But uh, it'll be a little more emotional game than typical. Looking ahead, what do you have to say to your fans heading into the next season? Well, come check us out. You know, we always welcome people. Our practices are open. Uh, that, that will always be the case. We love having people come by and meet our guys. We've got, in addition to having some talented guys, we've got a really, really good group of guys. They're, they're uh, fun to be around. I think they represent our program very, very well. So uh, come watch us play. We're very exciting. We played very fast last year. We hope to play even faster. We were 29th in the country in pace of play, and I think we can speed it up even more. Thanks so much, Coach. We're looking forward to coming and watching you. Thank you very much. You're watching Sports Tonight, San Antonio's only nightly 30-minute sportscast with exclusive sports coverage you won't find anywhere else.